Nobody tells you how lonely it gets when you finally find yourself and you start to lose people around you that were only there because they really like the version of you that you no longer are. Hello everyone, I'm Alessia May, welcome to my channel. I'm a creative and a coach and today I want to explore something that we hear a lot talking about but I think there's still some confusion as to what it may mean. Let's go. Especially as an artist, I think authenticity is something we need to talk about. Because we know everything has been made or created already, so being original is not an option. Being authentic is our best bet to be able to separate ourselves from other people that are doing the same thing we're doing. But what does authenticity mean? Being authentic means to embrace your unique qualities, values and beliefs to be basically who you truly are. And although society kind of pushes us to conform, being authentic can free us in many ways. It can help you ease your anxiety as you're not constantly trying to be someone you're not. It can boost your confidence because it gives you this extreme sense of self-worth and just really, really knowing who you are. It allows you to attract like-minded individuals who can appreciate and connect with the real you. But there are some downsides to being authentic and this is what I wanted to actually talk about in this video. One of the downsides is that it may open you up to criticism. So being authentic makes you more vulnerable and more vulnerable to criticism and judgment. Because when you open up to other people by being your real and true self, you also open yourself up to potential rejection. Also acceptance, but rejection still stings. Some of the people that were around you when you were being the person you thought you were supposed to be when you were with them are gonna start pulling away. They're gonna start pulling away and they're gonna say, huh, you've changed. You've really changed. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. When you start to do the work to uncover who you really are as a person, you will lose people. You will lose people because you are no longer the version of yourself that will make them feel good about themselves. Maybe you're calling them out on some of their behavior that you probably wouldn't even have noticed beforehand. Or maybe you're saying no, you're setting some boundaries. Or maybe you simply are a different person around them. So it's a good thing for the both of you to just part ways. And it's something that you can expect when you're starting to work on yourself. This can lead to some isolation for some period of times in which you, it's like, a, it's like a cycle. You're getting rid of some people, you're moving on with your life and you're making space for more genuine, more deep connections with other people that might appreciate you more. Also with becoming authentic, you will face some resistance. It's a twofold kind of resistance. You'll have internal resistance, which is more connected to fears and insecurities about actually letting go and finding out who you really are. After all, you're getting to know yourself to such a deep level that you may uncover things that you don't like about yourself, but you can work on in the future. But still, it is an intense and new experience, so some resistance is to be expected and some external resistance as well. Like I said before, friends and family may notice that you're changing and they may not approve of this new version of you, so you might feel some resistance and pushback with a pinch of rejection for good measure. So just try to work through this and know that it is normal to go through all of this when you're finding your real self. How do you cope with these downsides of authenticity? We start with a lot, and I mean a lot of self-compassion. You're going through a lot, you're uncovering a lot of things and you're losing people as you are doing this. It's a lot to take in, so remember to be kind to yourself and have patience. Things are gonna get better, you're gonna find your tribe again. Just be kind to yourself in this moment in time in which things seems, well, everything but happy. Start looking for your tribe. Now that you know who you are a little bit more than you did yesterday, look for people who are also going through this transformation. It's likely that you might have something in common. Just go for coffees, join a group, whether it's online or in person. Try new activities to meet people that are more aligned with the version of you that is coming to life right now. And boundaries. 
Boundaries are essential, especially when you're going through something because you are creating this new version of you and because other people that used to know you are not familiar with the new version of yourself, you need to set some rules. Boundaries can mean um, cutting off people that you no longer have things in common with or removing friends or family members that criticize you too much or that don't support you, this new version or that try to put you back where you were before. So you can set boundaries by telling them I'm working on this, this is who I am or simply by removing the friendship and accepting that the friendship is over, is no longer working and you are who you are and respectfully you think you should go two separate ways. Once you know who you are, what you like, who you really are, what you really like and you know that the journey to get there might have come with some ups and downs like all journeys do, you can take that authenticity that is in your person and put it in your art and in your creation and therefore finding your voice creatively speaking as well. This could also go the other way around. As you explore with your art, you may become more authentic and you may realize what you like to talk about, why you like the things you like and you might find your tribe as well. The journey for being authentic and finding out who you really are is an intense one, but don't be discouraged, I promise you it is worth it. You're not gonna be liked by everybody, you don't like everybody, but it's so worth it to go through all of this to be able to live a life that is true to who you are, with kindness, compassion, gentleness and most importantly, authenticity. I am Alessia May and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.